Right, uh, you join me here at uh, the start of uh, a session where I'm uh, going to try and get some mullet again. Uh, I'm still after a three pound plus fish now. I've had a three pounder. I've seen bigger fish. Um, I'm just putting some ground bait in in a spot here now. Going to return to in a bit later. And I'm going to head up river because there's uh, not so much rainwater in the river now. So uh, I'm going to head up to a spot I know holds big fish. Hopefully I'll get some. And then uh, as the seals turn up, which they inevitably will, I'll drop back down here. So uh, fingers crossed. So a new venue. I'm excited, I'm just getting my ground bait sorted because I've just seen two whopping great mullet. I estimate about four or five pound. That'll do me nicely if one of those today. I picked a place where I've got a plenty of shade, it's a boiling hot day, the fish ain't gonna care about that. I love it. Hot summer days are what mullet fishing's all about for me. Well, if you watch your bait, especially white bait like bread. You can see it go down and if it stops going down all of a sudden you know it's on the bottom and it gives you an idea of the depth well that's disappearing you can't see it so it's a reasonable depth this is low tide tide will be flooding any minute now Floats trotting along nicely depth is going to be critical again today oh i just had a bite there coming closer and i had a bite i cocked up all right so in tighter was the key just off the rock line who <sighs> are uh, right confidence is high now I just need to concentrate over excited I said didn't bump it if I'd bumped it I'd just ruin my chances That's fish further right try that so I'm holding the float where I want it while the bait sinks. Once the bait's down there, it'll hold that line. It won't follow the bread out and I end up too far out or where I don't want to be. Oh, hell. I'll put another little scoop of bait in in a minute. See, I'm moving down there lovely now. It's actually coming in towards me for some reason. That must be the flow. Coming into the area where I had the bait a minute ago. So it's going to show that that oil gets their heads down. They find it. You could have a better bait down there, but if they're not down on the deck, they're not going to find it. Um, bread does have a flavour, doesn't it? But you know how much of a flavour does bread have? How how well does that transmit through the water? But I, oh yeah, got one. I know. Always a nice one. Oh, at least come off. Right. Paid off. I just lost a big mullet. Hopefully my camera picked that up. It literally, dink, whack, in. Fish came up to the surface straight away, flicked its head, out came the hook. It was in excess of three pounds. I would say near a four. Fit, solid, long fish. Just what I was after. So we got plenty of time. Hopefully we'll get another. Put a little bit more ground bait in again to uh, hopefully induce them to stay there because they're obviously down on the deck and feeding right, perfect we've got still water there out there in front of us now you can see the oil coming up from fish feeding on what i've thrown out there and um they're coming out from up near that tree where i put some ground bait all right bit of bread on small bait all right some big fish though there now another scoop of ground bait just one scoop. Just it's a bit too far out really, but it'll keep them in the area. Alright, see if we can't do something this time. Come on, I see they're still there. Just getting quick bites. Oh, oh, oh yeah, got one. Half didn't strike. Yeah, it's a nice fish. That's a good one. Oh, he's twisting and turning. It's not a good fish. Look at him go, it's like a torpedo isn't he? I gotta, I'll have him out there, I don't mind him being out there, I've got to keep the rub tip down to keep him down. This is a good fish. <laughs> it's a very quick half, half a strike to be honest. I've got him with, oh god it's a good fish. i to keep him away from the snags and everything. Oh and he's off. <sighs> right, we stopped for an interlude. So far, 
It's Mullet 2. Me, Neil. I have hooked two fish over four pound now. One just shook and come off. The other actually, it snapped the line between my indicator shot and my hook. Now I was using three pound line and this fish was, I'd estimate it was pushing five and it's very tight and it pulled like hell. And I think it just had the beat in that line. So I've, I'm not getting despondent. I'll put some more bait out. I'm not despondent because I found a good place where I can hook good fish, but I need more powerful line. It's laziness on my part. I should have done this earlier. Um, but that's it sometimes you know you're tired you don't do everything the seals just turned up that's not good um but yeah i've upped my line strength i'm gonna go back at it come on fish oh i had a bite and i wasn't looking darn it come on Hayes. what a day you have eaten I got that depth dead right now. That's what's made the difference. Now we're fishing. The fish seem to be here. I think I know why. Go on. And there you go. Yeah, got one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Please be third time lucky today. That's a good fish. Come on, don't let the seals turn up. Come on. It's a good sized fish, this one. Not as big as what I hooked earlier, but it's a nice one. Please do not come off. He's a bit, a bit lethargic, if I'm honest. He's waking up a bit now. Let's get the net ready. Oh, I've got to keep him away from here. Hope the seal don't turn up. He's not huge. He's a nice fish. It's a good fish, anyway. You can see this. Right, not a long tip. He's wanting to stay down. Pull in now. Happier with the five pound line on. He's jagging away this fish. Come on. You see him fighting earlier. Don't want to rush it. He's strong. He's staying down now. Trying to find a snag. He's trying to get in tight. Oh, he's trying to find a bank. Yeah, he's not big. It's a good couple of pounds on all that. It's been half the size of what I've been looking earlier today. He's strong as hell, this fish. So strong. Such fighters. He's a good one. Let's get his head up. Get him in the net, yes. No, for a lot of perseverance, we've got ourselves a mullet here. It's a good three pounds. I'll take the weight of the uh, sling off in a minute. It was 3.98, I think it was. So I'm estimating about three and a half pounds. And the kind gentleman here has uh, taken some nice shot of this fish here. So we'll get it back nice and quickly. It's a hot day, and I don't want to harm the fish. Right, that was a difficult session. Uh, lost some good fish. Really peeved about that. Some fish four pound plus just shook their heads off, come up from deep water, further up river, and uh, shook their heads and shed the hook. And um, 
then uh, I've worked hard down here and caught one of about three and a half pounds. So I've got to be happy with that, haven't I? Um, sorry, the film was not brilliant. Uh, I did my best. Uh, it's a very hot day. And uh, I wasn't having on a roll today, to be honest. That fish really made up the things. It was a bit of a tale of contrast there with the earlier fishing and the later fishing where I actually managed to catch something. So please like and subscribe.